Welcome to the introduction to Varian Flow 10. In this video, you will learn what is Varian Flow and how to use it in your project. So what is Varian Flow? Flow is the part of the Varian 10 platform that connects the Java API with the web components or the web platform. Flow provides automated bi-directional communication between the server and the browser giving Java developer full access to all the modern webs and make it easier to connect to the UI or to connect via to from the backend to the UI. If you are familiar with the JavaScript framework like the React.js or the Angular, what you need to do is to call your backend via the REST API and all your UI logic is handled with your front-end JavaScript. The point is that you have no control of the front-end from your server side, but in Vadin, the server side can directly control your front-end and can do all the DOM manipulation just like what you do in JavaScript. With Vadin Flow, you can access browser APIs, web components, and even simple DOM elements directly from the server side Java. What is interesting is the power of abstraction. So when using Vadin Flow, you, can, you, you do not need to understand how the client to server communication or the web component works. You can just focus on using and creating components which work at a much higher abstraction level. Let's look at the code example. So in this code example, what I want to do is to create a HTML template and then link it with the Java API. Here we have a very simple main view class which extends the vertical layout and a very simple constructor that is an empty constructor here. Let's go ahead and create an HTML template and to do that you need to go to the main uh, to the web apps and then the front end and the source folder. Let's right click on this click on new HTML file and I'll name the file to be my form and in, I'll remove everything inside this template. And the first thing I need to do is to import some of the Polymer elements from the Polymer uh, library. So what I did is I copy the link. You can also do the same. And this is the Polymer element where you are, you, you are going to use. And you import this from the Bower Polymer and Polymer element.html. And the next thing what I need to do is to uh, create a DOM module for this one. And the DOM modules require an ID. Let me name it as my form. And inside this DOM modules, I will have a template. And inside the template, I will have some of the polymer, uh, the Vadin polymer element. So the first thing which I need to wrap it up in this template is the layout. So Vadin has this uh, polymer element called Vadin vertical layout. So let's do that and declare this vertical layout over here. And what I want to do is I want to have two text field and one button. So to do that, Vadin also has this polymer element called the Vadin text field. This text field will need an ID if you want to uh, access from the Java API. And, this, and I need to, what I need to do is I will copy this text field over here and paste it here. And this will be the email ID. And the last um, Polymer element will be the button. Let's give this an ID. The ID for this is, let's say, submit. So we have this DOM module over here given with the ID my form, and you also have your uh, polymers, the Vadin polymer element, uh, wrap it up with the vertical layout. And the next thing you need to do is to copy some of the boilerplate from, let me do that and paste it here. So this basically is just a boiler. Uh, boiler uh, template you can uh, copy it and then place it in in almost all of your uh, template file and if you look at here this is a class that extends the polymer template it return the name of the DOM modules 
so over here so make sure you return a jump module over here and that's it so for every template you create you just need to copy this rename this on then make sure you return the right name or the right id of the job module so here we go we have the myform.html template and the next thing what we need to do is to create a java api that link to this myform uh, template so let's go ahead and create one myform over here and the first thing i need to do is to extend this uh, from the polymer template and this polymer template accept a model so first thing I need to create a model for this let me create an interface for this one I'll, I'll name it let me zoom in for model which extend the template model which is from the Vadin uh, flow so that's it so what you need to do is whenever you create a new uh, Java API for a particular form that um, that contain the Polymer 11, the first thing you need to do is to extend this Polymer template and then create an interface, a very simple interface. And we'll have we'll look in few lecture how we can use this interface to um, to manipulate or to have some kind of a an event that can trigger or you can communicate from this myform.java to the myform.html and as for now you just need to remember to create this interface and then copy this form model over here paste it in your polymer template which is the over here that's all so you have this particular myform element extend the polymer template and then the type uh, that the model it accept is the form modeled that's all and what I need to do is I need to declare some of the annotation given by Vadin so the first annotation given by Vadin or oh, let me do one thing let me split this into split vertically let me remove this over here let's close this my form over here zoom or not this one zoom in zoom in this one as well and what I want to do is to kind of a mapping between the Java API and the HTML template over here so the first thing is I need to map the name emailed and the submit button to do that what I need to do is I need to create a text field correspond to the uh, HTML template so let's have a text field here and this text field will be the name and the private will have uh, the other one will have the text field the email id and the last one the button uh, the submit btn button okay then we need to map here we have just a simple text field and a button but we need to map this Java API to the HTML form. To do that, Vadin provide us with the ID annotation, and this ID uh, will accept an ID name, which basically map this ID with this ID, and this right now, this text field can directly manipulate this particular polymer element over here. And next is we need to again provide an ID for this one this will be your email and this will be your summit okay so here we have three mapping corresponding to this particular polymer element and the next thing is we need to do is to map these modules to this particular Java class to do that we didn't provide another annotation called tag and this tag will be your job module name my form and also we need to tell this particular java class where to locate this dot html file so to do that we need to have an html import and here we need to provide a path in relation to the source let me go to folder here you need to provide a file path in relation to the source 
uh, which is uh, uh, source here the main the web apps the front end folder and finally the source and it is recommended that you place your template inside the source folder and you can split it further into components and view etc so what I want to do is I want to say it is in the source folder and let me go ahead and expand this and my form dot html okay so here we have done the mapping we have done the tag annotation html import and the id for each of these polymer element and the next thing is we need to provide an action listener or a kind of uh, interaction between these two between the my form and the my form html let me create a constructor for this my form class oh. and inside this uh, constructor uh, what I want to do is I want to listen to the submit button and on click listener which is on a button click I want to do something okay so what I want to do is they want to grab this the content of the name which is in the inside the text field the content of the email and then display the name and the email on button click so let's do that let's have a string here um, let's say the text uh, equal to let me take the text field name and get the value plus or let me write something uh, nice here and the name will be this one plus um, let me give a new line email ID will be this one which is uh, email or not this one email dot get value okay let me first split this here and I want to display this in a notification provided by dividing notification dot show method it is a static uh, method that uh, take the, the string will pass the text I want to display it for 5000 millisecond and let it display in the middle that's it I think so far so good okay so let's go to the view tool Marvin project and uh, hit jetty run So this will take some time depend on your computers or maybe if you haven't downloaded your dependencies then uh, it will first download the dependencies and then compile your project and deploy to the jetty server okay so the started jetty servers and let's go to the browser type localhost in port number is zero is zero oh one more thing so the, the thing I miss here is maybe in your case also if you are doing it for the first time is you have done all this mapping everything but in your main view uh, you need to uh, create you need to instantiate that my form uh, class um, create a, an object of the my form and then add it to this vertical layout so let's go ahead and do that um, my form and add it to the my form and we are good to go let's go back to the run restart the jetty server okay let's refresh the page okay here we have two text box and a button without uh, any uh, level in it so there is must be something wrong here let's go ahead and add something here um, and hit ok here we have the name and the email ID the new line does not um, really uh, appear here so let's go ahead and fix this let's close this here I need to have a text here called summit 
and let me go to my form and fix that new line oh I see new line is not working here anyway I'm just removing the new line let's see in few if I can fix this few lecture let's refresh this So here we go, uh, give it uh, the input to this and finally hit the submit button. Oh, that's it.